trust gets you more playing time. We don't play as a coach. We don't play players we don't trust. Point blank period. When you're engaged, that tells me you know what's going on. You're ready to go. You understand what I'm saying? You're not going to go out there and you're not going to make the same mistake again. Or you're not going to make the same mistake somebody else just made. You're locked in. But this tells me you're fidgety and you need to sit down. You can't handle it. So how do we show engagement? You stand tall and you do something with one or the other with your hands. No Ricky Bobby hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. Lock them. Right in front. Lock them behind. You'll see me. You'll see our staff modeling this all week. Just lock them. It builds trust. Lock them here. Sometimes have the ball locked at your side. It's going to get heavy. A lot of you guys are going to forget. You're going to get back to this. Sit it down between your legs. Make sure it's not rolling and lock in. We're going to test you guys all week. How engaged can you be? How locked in can you be? How important is the information I'm serving? You're going to show me. A lot of you guys, are, how many of you have a coach? If they're in the room, just snap below your desk so you don't get yourselves in trouble. But snap if you have a coach that just talks too much sometimes. They just talk way too much. Be honest, truth over harmony coaches. You're like, are you kidding me? Really? Been there. The reason we talk so much as coaches is because we're not sure you understand. So we have to keep repeating ourselves. We give you information and you're staring at us like we have something stuck to our faces. You stare at us and you're like, So we keep repeating ourselves to make sure like, okay, they don't understand what I'm saying, so I'm gonna keep saying it over and over. You got me, you got me, you, you, uh, they're not sure. So what you need to learn how to do, this will get your coaches to be quiet or talk a little less. Let's get them to talk a little less. So something you wanna write down, you wanna give them eye contact, and subtle nods. Eye contact and subtle nods. Now, eye contact and subtle nods. Some of you guys, your coach is talking and you're just like nodding like, yeah, got it coach, yeah, yep, coach, yep, go out there, get stopped on defense, yeah, I got 10, yeah, yeah. Like, no, that tells your coach you're rushing them and you might have an issue. Too much pop. Subtle nods. They give you information in a very subtle nod. I got you, coach. And something I'd add in there are hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. That's going to kill them. I'm telling you right now, it's going to kill them. You're in, you're, they're giving you some great coaching. You're locked in. You're giving them eye contact, giving them feedback. They're giving you feedback, eye contact. Gentle nods every once in a while, not all the time, but every once in a while, throw some hungry eyes in there. <laughs> That's going to kill them. I'm telling you. That's going to kill them. And you're not doing it to rush the conversation. You're not doing it to get them to just shut up. But you just want them to understand and trust that you know what they're saying. You've gotten it. And then you can move on and continue to be great. Believers, be leaders, be astronauts, be champions, be truth seekers.